accused of killing his girlfriend nearly a decade ago, set to go on trial tomorrow. But today, arguments were made by the attorneys about whether DNA evidence can be used in the upcoming trial. Brock Owens has the details from the courtroom. Investigators are just now becoming more confident in the cause of death for a woman whose body was found dumped along a Cambria County trail eight years ago. The man accused of killing her will now face a jury starting Wednesday. In August 2016, Kayleen Rodell's body was found decomposed along Honan Avenue hiking trail in Johnstown. It wasn't until July 2020 that Christopher Rao was charged with homicide for the death of his former girlfriend. The state of Rodell's remains originally making it difficult for investigators to tell a cause of death, later saying it's, quote, strongly suggestive to be strangulation. But a new report from just last Friday says statements by Rao significantly increases the confidence in that cause of death. Prosecutors with the Attorney General's office say reports show that Rao's blood was found on a piece of Rodell's clothing when she was found. But the defense says their own DNA experts suggest it's not Rao's blood, but likely Rodell's own blood. But officials on both sides say that evidence will not be used during the trial because of errors in making one of the reports. Though Judge Norman Krumenacher says the DNA evidence does not favor either side. I spoke with family of Rodell, who tell me they're looking for justice, especially for Rodell's daughter. They grew up without a mom. A plea deal was offered to Rao, but the trial is still set to begin Wednesday morning. Many people have died to protect the Constitution of the United States, fair and impartial, and it's until proven guilty. I think that should be taken into consideration in Johnstown, Pennsylvania. We'll continue bringing updates of the case. And in conversations I've had, the trial is expected to go until about late next week. Reporting, I'm Brock Owens.